Today we're going to be doing something a little different with Planet Zoo. The one issue that I've had over the last uh, week or so is bringing in mods for new animals and finding something going wrong. Um, so what I've done today is to to uh, bring in some software. One's called Cobra and the other one's called Python. And using those two pieces of software, I can go in and have a look at these mods and see what, what is going on. So one, one mod that I've brought in over the last week is the Port Jackson Shark, which um, is um, a shark uh, that we find on the east coast of uh, Australia. It might be all the way around, but I'm not too sure. I oh, will check that uh, in a short while. So what I need to do is to look at Port Jackson Shark. And I've looked at this uh, when I when I imported the, the shark. And I noticed a couple of issues with that. So if I go into Zoopedia. So this brings up the, the shark. So it comes up with a nice little picture. I want to change that picture, um, but I'll do that at a later period, probably later in the week, maybe this coming weekend, I'll show you how to do it. Um, but what I want to do is to go and look at, yeah, there's not too much information there, so I want to try and work out where we'd find that information. What I want to change is this one. Here it's saying the origin of the shark is coast of Australia. Regions, coast of Australia, it's aquatic and it's tropical. Well, it's not tropical because it's, a, it's a, a fish. So I need to get rid of tropical altogether. Um, and I just need to go through and check. It's saying that I need a grade 2 fence. I mean... I don't think sharks are going to jump over any fence, but uh, they might. But uh, I'm going to go through and check with existing sharks uh, in Planet Zoo and see what they set up as. But yeah, the problem is that this is saying it's uh, coast of Australia, yet it's highlighted as being Africa, and these areas highlighted in pink. So I've got to go through and fix that. Um, got a an idea on how to do it um, but I need to go through using Cobra to pick up the files used in the mod and extract them so I can actually have a look at it so I will exit out of Planet Zoo and be back shortly and we'll have a look uh, at what I found with the um, Port Jackson shark So by using Cobra, I've been able to extract the files for the Port Jackson Shark. Um, if I go into it, um, I've got two areas that I've looked at so far. One is animals and one is the user interface. We'll have a look at the animals first. If I go into that... So this, these are all of the, um, the images for, for the shark. So first thing I'm seeing is that the images are all for white hippo male. Eyes, hair, um, all sorts of things. Um, not sharks. So um, the person who actually created this mod has used the white hippo animal and changed the, the actual texture. don't know how he's actually done it, but um, yeah, he's got uh, pack textures, um, roughness, and he's, do he's done a good job with the textures, but there's also textures there for, that looks like it's the hippo itself. So the problem is that there's two animals in this in this actual mod see here that's um the skin itself uh, i think that's the kind of the matte painting i think it's called 
Um, so yeah, that, that's that's a problem. So um, I have to have a look and just make sure that it's not going to cause any issues if I have a white hippo introduced into the zoo. If I look at the texture or the um, shark, you know, paint, So that that's how the uh, the shark looks in the in the uh, planet zoo. So done a fairly good job in that. Um, I could go through and make some changes, but I think it looks pretty decent. So yeah, that's the first thing that I found is that the textures have been changed, but everything's still called white hippo, and I'm not too sure if um, it's going to cause problems if I introduce a white hippo into the zoo. I don't think it will, but it, it might. So that, that was my first find. So let's go back to Port Jackson Shark. The other thing that I found is the user interface, and this was where I found a couple of surprises. So there's the, the actual map. I'll open that up. So this is wrong. The Port Jackson shark um, on, in Australia goes from here, goes all the way around, goes around the coast, goes up here, goes up here, and stops just around there. So that's, that's how the map should show. And Port Jackson shark also appears between the North and South Islands of New Zealand. I don't know if I need to to uh, change to include New Zealand as well um, because officially the Port Jackson shark is found in New Zealand waters as well as in Australia. So that's that. The, the, these are the um, actual icons. So when you, when you go into the Zoopedia, uh, this would be the actual image that comes up. So I can go through and change that. Uh, interesting, it's got a black black mark there. I don't know if that does anything. I'll have a look uh, in Planet Zoom to see if there's any black um, margins. But it looks like he's got black margins uh, all the way down the right-hand side. Oh, this is transparent. I'm not too sure why he's done that, so um, I might have to go through and fix that. The thing that got me is we got the thumbnails for when you're looking at the trading area. You've got the, normally you've got the male and the female sharks and all we've got are thumbnails for male sharks. So that, that's what we're going to see. Um, I can change that possibly. What has got me it was... Over the last couple of weeks, um, I added uh, something like 170 new new animals to the to the game, and what I was finding was these pictures of the grey kangaroos. And I thought, well, I don't have any grey kangaroos installed in the mod, so where is it coming from? And then I'm looking at it right here, albino. So it looks like um, either this is a mod that's caused a problem or there are a number of other mods around where if the animal is an albino, instead of showing the proper image, it's going to actually show the grey kangaroo. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to fix, fix these. I don't know how to to um, change the image. Um, what I'd probably have to do is to have a look and see what a um, albino shark looks like. If there isn't one, maybe have it the same same uh, image. I don't know whether I can actually disable albinos. If there aren't any with a particular species, I mean, do do I, do Port Jackson sharks have albino 
variations. I'm not too sure. So there's a couple of things I need to get changed in this one. So I'll probably change this a little bit. Um, definitely got to look at getting rid of the grey kangaroo. Uh, because it's not a, a water creature. <laughs> and yeah, I'm not, not too sure why it's being chosen as the default image for albinos. That doesn't make sense. Maybe, maybe because it's grey, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to be changing that, going to change that, and get rid of the kangaroo. And I've got to get Africa out of there and put in Australia. So what I'm going to do is to look at um, how a picture of uh, the map looks for like a red kangaroo. Copy that into here. Export that back into Planet Zoo and that's, that will fix that problem. Uh, we've got to work out how to do that in Cobra. Um, hopefully it's going to be fairly similar but uh, or simple to do but... Uh, could be interesting anyway i just thought i'd uh, show you just in case anyone out there is seeing gray kangaroos all over the place um this is what's happening albinos are being shown particularly in this mod are being shown as gray kangaroos instead of as, as sharks so i've i've had of those 150 plus mods i've gone through installing and looking at uh, like there'd be a picture of a an elephant and when I'm going through the, the actual animals in the trading area I then see the text shows up saying that it's a an elephant but when I look at the picture it's saying it's a, a lion and when I click on the on the actual zoopedia it'll show me either a lion or an elephant and I couldn't work out what was going on and I think the same thing is happening here is that maybe people who are doing the mods or copying like the the elephant making the textures for the for the lion and when it comes down to the albinos leaving it as the previous animal so not updating it to lion so if it's an albino version of the animal, I think it's it's basically looking at the wrong animal. So what I'm going to be doing for every animal that I'm bringing into my zoo, um, I think I've got over 230 new animals to bring in. I'm going to be running it through Cobra, checking this to make sure that um, everything looks good before I actually bring them into the zoo. Um, that way I can have some kind of quality control on what's actually showing in the in the zoo. Um, changing the maps. Um, I've got to go through and find out where the, the text is. Um, if, for example, this was showing the correct map and it was showing around Australia that there was a, you know, a pink area going around Australia, but then the, the actual text said that the that the shark the Paul Jackson shark was found um, off the coast of America well I, I need to change that so I've got to try and work out how to change the the text in the user interface that's going to be somewhere I haven't actually found it yet anyway I thought I'd just do a quick video just to show what I'd found um, yeah th this was puzzling me where was the grey kangaroo coming from why why is it showing in my animal trading area when I haven't got any kangaroos installed? And now I understand. I think when I started I had um, a, a group, uh, pretty much every single shark was uh, was added into the into Planet Zoo. And I've got a feeling that um, in those shark mods we've probably got the same thing happening. Anyway, got it worked out, so the, the simple solution is um, if I can't find an albino version of the of the animal, I'm just going to copy it from here. The albino will look exactly like the normal version of the animal, and then I can try and work out what I do 
if um, there should be albinos. Anyway, I'm just going to finish the episode here. If you if you like the episode, um, please leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And we'll be back again uh, later tonight or uh, first thing tomorrow. Thanks for watching. See you then. Bye-bye.